I'm getting ready to cut out my Regency dress and I have my textile assistant inspecting my work. And I just wanted to go over some tips and tricks that I've learned when working with silk. You know, it's very important to press out your pattern pieces so that they stay flat, so that you do cut them out in a correct manner. Now you'll notice that the bodice pieces are made of a artist tracing paper. And I do that just because it is easier to trace off the side that I need. And when I am pinning, I just pin on the very edges because the pins will leave pin prick marks in the silk that often don't come out. So this way they are within my seam allowance. And you know, you'll notice that you'll sometimes find slubs in silk. I'm kind of see, let's see, like right in here. So I just place my pattern pieces in a way that I avoid the slubs, like this front skirt piece. I haven't tacked it down yet because I want to closely inspect the silk just to make sure I'm selecting the best area that has minimal slubbing. Because you would have not really seen slubbing in silk during the Regency era. That is more of a modern production um, glitch, if you will, in fabric. So the silk would have been very smooth. And so the first cut is always the deepest. Wish me luck. I have started to bead the gown. This is the back section. This side is completed. It has little gold glass seed beads, two types of sequins. This took me about two hours to complete. And I'm trying to match this side as best as I can to mimic what I just did. So I still need to fill in some of these areas. And it's a perfect day because it's gray and overcast and I keep my beads separate in these little vintage containers. And I do use cotton thread and I wax it. It helps it more smoothly. I did apply some interfacing on the back while I'm stitching and then I will remove the excess when I am done. And I will put a lining in after I'm done so this will not be able to be seen once I'm finished. And then when I'm done with the back, I have plans to do the shoulder straps and the front of the bodice here. So slow going, but a lovely project. So during the Texas snowstorm, I have been doing all of this hand beading for the dress along the back seam here. I sit in this little window right here with my sweet little companion who is bundled up. Thankfully, the snow is starting to subside now.
dog who decided to eat right now. Hello, Grace. <laughs>